From the top of Saipan to the top of the world, the NMI men's soccer team recently left the sea level of Saipan for the higher levels of competition in Nepal. As our Chris Nelson reports, the trip was about more than sport. After months of preparation, the NMI football team was ready to put its best foot forward on the international stage. The journey started here on Saipan with a Friday night friendly match against a Japanese soccer club. A few hours later, we're on a flight to Manila and soon on the pitch in Quezon City against the Morocco Sparks. At halftime, it was 0-0 and time for a pep talk. Please open your mouth and tell him he's got a runner coming through when your guy goes on that run. Okay. You understand that? Yeah, I am, guys. Be, be strong. Yeah, we can't, you guys can't hey. fade away you, every time. You've got a body, they got a body. <laughs> strong. You've got to learn, you've got to learn, okay? This is international. No score in the second half, and we leave Manila feeling pretty good with the draw. Oh, so good terrible. job. Heads up. We head to the airport and catch a flight to Guangzhou, China, and then a connecting flight to Kathmandu, Nepal. No passport picture? No problem. Pictures on arrival in this country. We all needed a wake-up call and Manju from Java Joe's was there to say namaste. Namaste is a Nepalese word with a deep meaning. The spirit within me greets the spirit within you. Or as we say in English, what's up dog? We are up early for a look at the landscape and after a quick look around we make a beeline for the practice field. Only problem is the field is in use and this dog doesn't want to move and neither do these cows. It takes some encouragement, but finally we had a field, although we tell the young boys be careful diving and that is no bull. We're at 5,000 feet above sea level and we will use a few days to get adjusted to the altitude. A couple of days before our first match, we visit the stadium we'll be playing in and as the final preparations are made, spirits are high. Ready to win some headers? We're going to do well here, I think. Oh, it's going to be nerve-wracking, crazy. Here's a look at the pre-match press conference. So what we try to do and what we have in our mindset is to go out tomorrow and to play our hardest uh, and to show uh, everybody what we've been preparing for and, and what we can do as a small island. Game one, 20,000 crazy Nepalese fans on hand. We soon realized that this Nepalese squad is going to be very tough. Take your time, take your time, but make sure you don't be silly and get a yellow card. The Nepalese are fit, fast, and skilled, and they control the ball and the game, but our boys hang in there and we compete as best we can. Next up, Palestine, and this side features several players who get paid big money to play in Europe, and we soon find out why. Palestine dominates, although we do keep it to single digits. For the final game against Bangladesh, we change our strategy a bit and decide to focus on defense, and it works. Deep in the second half, we're down just 2-0 to zero when fortune smiles on the CNMI. Joe Miller, surrounded by defenders, somehow gets an improbable touch on the ball and gets it over to Peter Loken, who somehow gets a pass off to a streaking Trey Dunn. A goal here will make it 2-1, to one, and with the momentum shift, we are sure we will pull off the upset of the year. The goalie is beat. There's a window towards the goal. There's a window towards victory. The crowd goes wild. It's going to happen. But the soccer gods sneeze or at least look away at the last second and Trey's shot rebounds harmlessly off the post and we are soon playing defense. The final whistle blows and as we exit the field, the dear Nepalese people who have adopted us as the underdogs of the tournament give us a standing ovation. And now we know the true meaning of the word namaste. Thank you, Chris. We'll have more on Nepal tomorrow night.